Welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy. सुबह सुबह थोड़ा प्रॉब्लम होता है सर्दी का भाई Groom and feed the Threstal offspring. That's how we do this for you, girl. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix. The rarest of all beasts that Master had spotted high on a cliff. The Phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. 
What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story. And now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Did you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form. And that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What did you mean you'd send Anne a crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... We just lost our parents and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions. A box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest. And without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the headmaster if we needed his help. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'm not standing I'll send you an hour when I have news. I always said that travel broadens the mind. So frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, mother? I had hoped. 
to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matebeleland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts. So I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Anamagus. And it is in my gazelle Any form notes? that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Were you born an Anamagus? Or did you learn to become one? Anamagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hawksmeade for now. That may be safe. But I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you. But you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. <laughs> Oh. Hugs me down. Than Hogsmeade. 
This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think the collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behaviour. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ramrock, and Ramrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Oh, I do hope Mary and her neighbours aren't harmed. Excuse me, sir. Are you alright? Just barely. But I don't want to trouble a student with my woes. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm not so sure. Name's Crispin Dunn, by the way. I trade in the surrounding hamlets. Do the most business in Aronshire. A lovely little hamlet. Just stunning gardens. Just the other day, the Daily Prophet ran an article on its scenic hedgerows. Actually, before I go on, I should ask. Are you afraid of spiders? Spiders don't bother me at all. You'd be impressed by how many I've dispatched lately. Lucky you. The hamlet's overrun with the vile things, and they're acting abnormally aggressively. I'm concerned about my customers, of course, but it appears that most of the hamlet's residents fled to safety. It's my friend Mary I worry about. I haven't heard from her, and I fear she's trapped in her cottage. Understandable, but why don't you check on her yourself? I would. But I have a crippling fear of the eight-legged beasts, which I, unlike you, seem incapable of conquering. I don't know what to do. Can you think of anyone who can help Mary? I'll try my very best, Mr. Dunn. Please do. If you can think of anyone that may be brave enough to help, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. They'll find Aaron just southeast of Hogsmeade, just below the train station. Fast travel point and lock karke rakha tha. This must be Aaron Shire. I'd best keep an eye out for spiders. Revelio.
things in her cellar. It's the report on the ground. I'll need to destroy every last spider in that cellar if this is to end. Revelio. Spider Fang is a bitch, you need to get a bitch. He's a bitch in the dinner. Oops, yeah, Mary Portman's seller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Subs a barajo town. Who's going to go to the bar? If this is why Mary brought the spiders, then not here now. Not sure I want to know where this leads. This isn't a good sign. These spiders have gone somewhere. Rebellion!
I know what happened to Mary Poppins now. She was breeding a spider.
She's angry. लेकिन फिर भी मतलब नॉर्मल लोगों के लिए ये बहुत हार्ड था नॉर्मल लोगों के लिए ये हाइट नॉर्मल लोगों के लिए नहीं था करता ना तो इससे दस एक्सपी हो लेकिन दस एक्सपी में मिलता है ना lead to Hogsmeade. Revelio! Some good friends. I need to get a bender that I can get a bender. I need to 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 get a bender. Revelio! ये चेस्ट खोलने का भी शायद कुछ मिलेगा बाद में जिसमें एक आँख रहता है I I know you guys have seen some bloody chests with a small eye on them Mr. Dark I have some news Thank Merlin about my sweet friend Mary I'm so sorry Mr. Dark she was an innocent victim. Poor Mary. 
Fighting for the Hamlet to the bitter end, no doubt. A noble sacrifice. She truly was a remarkable woman. Remarkable. She didn't deserve this. She Hugo, really died. Why so I am really? sorry about your friend. You'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? Yes, bitch. I can't believe it. Because you but I'm certainly protect. relieved. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the amulet rebuild. I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. That's the spirit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you again for all you've done. I shall keep you apprised of the Hamlet's rebuilding. Glad I could be of help, and I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aronshire. To dearly depart. I think I saw some mission. ये नो फ्लाई जोन है सो मेरे को चल के जाना पड़ेगा business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But, I only want to help the less fortunate. <sighs> That's incredibly nice of you. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. What? But, I've run out of the key ingredient, booba tuba pus. Booba tubas do grow in the forbidden forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. I can try to find some for you to find the time. Marvelous! I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few booba tubas. But they grow wild, so you'll have to look around. Our spotty classmates are counting on you, so you mustn't tarry. Into the forbidden forest for the tubers. I hope it's worth the risk. चलता हूँ यहाँ से फास्ट ट्रेवल पॉसिबल है फास्ट ट्रेवल मतलब वो फास्ट ट्रेवल तो मैंने अभी किया आई मीन टू से दैट यूजिंग ड्रोम स्टिक्स इज अवेलेबल ये 
am I going the wrong way, man? This is where Sakaris is said to go. And where are those bumper tubers? Some dark mongrel. Smells awful. That's uh, yeah. Only four more, thank goodness. So, we got a lot of words. Five hundred and ten. स्पॉट दिखा रहा है ना मार्क हो रहा है ना इस स्पॉट पे कुछ भी नहीं है देखोगे ये देखो स्पॉट क्या स्पॉट है ये रेवेलियो 
यूज़ करने से मतलब बाकी कोई स्पेल काम ही नहीं करता ऑक्समिट एक नो फ्लाई जोन है ना लेकिन अपने को ऑक्समिट को बाहर ही उतरना है अंदर नहीं जाना है डस इट गेट एनी मोर कोजी देन ऑक्समिट Sakarissa, I found the Buddha tube as you needed. Splendid. I Of course. Happy to have found them for you. Thank you. And your payment, of course. Don't know who should be more. One day the wizarding world will know my name, and you will have been a small part of it. ये भाई ढूंढने के लिए मेरे को अभी घूमना पड़ेगा उसमें जो पौप, एक पॉपी स्वेटिंग का मिशन है ना पे बात करने का इस मिशन को करता हूँ जो सर महीने में एक बार वीडियो देता है उसका करोड़ों व्यूज ये वो What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Hauntel Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? 
If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Uh, Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and locked her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready with you. There she is, above us. She did make it home safe. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Well, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Just fed her well, and from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrides love sheep. How lucky for us! Watch your step. What are you going to be to? Or just raring for a fight. to reason.
that opening below her? Here broken. Repair it. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. I wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. Kitna time ho gaya? 1 ghanta lagbhag ho gaya. Chalo koi nahi. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. I've been so blind. So we'll do that in the next one. Thank you guys. See you soon. Have a good day. Bye.